Hey guys, Kev here, and I have an unboxing to do for you. So I have a package from my buddy, Jared Neve, over at Neve's Knives. Uh, Jared's an awesome dude, guys. Me and him, uh, we joke around a lot. Um, we call each other shills, and uh, it's, it's all a joke when you see that, by the way. He knows, I'm just telling you, if you see me, leave a comment about him shilling for a company or something. That's what that is. Inside jokage, I guess. Um, unboxing with my Demco AD 20.5, which I had on loan to uh, Choir Boys EDC. Uh, he sent it back with a new edge on it, which is fantastic. I then did a Instagram live stream where I put in the new skiff bearings for these. And I'm kind of testing those out right now. They work, obviously, very well. There's no blade play or anything. I'll double check that. No blade play of any kind. No lock rock of any kind. And it drops shut. It pretty much is doing what it did before. Like, it's not really better, so to speak, in terms of action. Maybe slightly. But you're getting that lateral pivot strength. You're getting some benefits out of it. Plus, I just like putting bearings in knives. Anyway, that was what I unboxed it with. I don't know what he's sending. I think there's a Kubi in here or something. He just sends me a bunch of stuff he thinks would work left-handed or he thinks I'd like to check out. I always, always enjoy uh, checking the knives out that Jared sends because he actually like puts some thought into it when he sends them to me. He doesn't just send random shit. Um, at least I don't think he does. So this one here, yeah. So this is the uh, Kubi KU322, I think. Don't hold me to that. I think this is the one everybody's comparing to the Arius. No, no, no. Is this the Vagrant? I don't know. Fuck me. I don't remember. This is just a Kubi. Ooh. Fuck. Okay. Yeah, this is not that knife I was thinking of. Um, it, it looked like it in silhouette, sort of. Um, this is something different. It still might be the K the KU322, though. So, whatever. It's one of those KUs, all right? Uh, wow. Wow. Usually, it gives me a little card to tell me what it is, but I guess I was supposed to know this time. Tiniest bit of blade play. No lock rock or anything. Uh, I would compare it right away to uh, the KU321, the Royal, uh, designed by my boy, Colin, CM Knife Designs, awesome dude, and um, just so you can get a comparison, there you go, about the same size knife, if you look at it, both have reversible clips, uh, the problem with the way Kubi is doing the reversible clip is they are not recessing the clip they're recessing the screws but not the clip and uh, i like that because you get the lefty clip but uh it is a real bitch in your pocket you put it in and it always sits right there on that shelf and then you have to pop it the rest of the way through not the end of any worlds but it is what it is it's dead nuts dead nuts centered there you go and guys yeah the detent is absolutely perfect on this knife you can thumb flick it. You can reverse flick it. This is left-handed, obviously. You can slow roll it. Um, you can do all that right-handed, of course. Thumb flick. Slow roll. There you go. Um, anything else I can do to it? No. I don't see any other deployment methods. Um, but the one they have is absolutely perfect. The shape of this hole is money. Uh, your finger catches right on that kind of flat corner right here on that. And it just, oh, it's perfect. It really is. Ergos, it's a small knife actually, but the way they did it with the contouring and everything, it kind of drives you into one spot, but it does work for me. If you had anything larger than my hand, I have a large glove size hand. It's going to be an issue, but it does fit my hand pretty well. Uh, no choke up position. It does look like a super slicey thin blade. Uh, we all know Jared likes that shit. Very pokey dokey. Um, yeah, that looks like a cutter, guys. So great action. Not quite Kubi Royal action, but 
the detent's a little bit stronger, so it kind of makes sense. So that's that one. Then we have another one here. And I think this is the one I was talking about. The one, yeah. So this is the 322 maybe. I don't know. Um, it's the one that everybody's comparing to the Arius. Um, there is a bit of rust. Yeah, there's, is there? Yeah, there's some rusting on the blade here. Fucking D2, man. There you go, Jared. Right out of the box. Right out of the box. It did sit here overnight, but it was in your box. Like I didn't even open the packaging. Um, this is what happens with a bead blast and D2. I don't. It, it's what happens with a bead blast on almost any knife. I don't know why they do bead blasts on anything. It's so dumb. It must be cheap as hell to do a bead blast um because they do it on so many knives and it causes so many issues for me personally um it's just annoying as hell anyway dead nut centered right there and i'll i'll get that rust out and like it'll take me two seconds when i get it a minute i'll rub it out with the uh flits or um rust eraser anyway so yeah let's try Okay, the D10 is pretty stiff. I mean, for the reverse flick, you gotta, you know, you feel it in your finger after you flick it. You feel it, um, which is okay. It's a fat handle. So, like, I'm really filled out, if you know what I mean. Like, my whole hand is filling this completely out. Um, you do have a choil up here, which is very small. It's almost like they didn't mean it to be a finger choil. But you can use it. Um, it's a little bit tight, honestly. I'm right on that edge, and it's sharp. So you got to be careful there. Um, the action on the flipper tab. Yeah, so that is why the D10 is the way it is. They had to dial it up a little bit to make sure this didn't fail. Because even with that, I can fail it if I want to. Now, the first time I did it on accident, and now I'm just... I can do it, but any any type of real flick, you're going to get it. Um, so I would not hold that as a negative in any way. That was just me accidentally doing it. And then you have a very strong middle finger flick because of that uh, stiffer detent. It's definitely a medium stiff detent, I'd call it. Medium stiff, you know, like a medium well steak, kind of like that. <laughs> yeah, that flicks really well. And the more I do it, the more it's opening up. You do have a fuller, but I can't get, I can't really get in there to use it. Um, so you're going to want to go with that hole and it works great. Disengagement, fantastic. And she dropped shut and she dropped shut and she dropped shut. I mean, yeah, very good. Uh, you have this G10 that's, it's uh, rough, but not too rough. Sorry, I got some uh just got out of the shower maybe that's why i don't know um but yeah i mean looks like a good blade it does have the arius overall silhouette kind of thing going on but i definitely understand when people say it's not like it's not like a knockoff or anything it's it really is just that blade shape they have going on that longer drop point with the yeah i mean that's really all it is uh nice kubi pivot that was on the other one as well. Um, yeah, I mean, they're doing a great job. I just... It has some nice ting to it, too. Well, it did a second ago. Well, um, they're doing a great job. I just wish they would back off this D2 a little bit. Uh, they're just going real hard with the D2. And I get it. It makes it so they can sell these for 70 bucks or whatever they cost. They're cheap. But I'd rather you switch to 14C or something. Give me a satin blade or a stone wash even. Just the bead blast, man. Even on a good steel. Like, I rust M390 with a bead blast. Like, that's how fucking shit a bead blast is. So, anyway, these are out of the box. Um...
You got the, uh, I don't know what they're called. I think one's the Vagrant and, and one is the 2-2, two, 3-2-2. Two, two, two. I don't know. Um, I'll find out from Jared. I'll put it in the uh, description and you guys will be aware for sure. Um, and yeah, that's it. I love you guys. I really appreciate it, Jared. Big shout out to you. Go check his channel. He's absolutely killing it right now. And um, I hope you guys all have an absolutely fantastic day. Don't beat blast your hole. And I'll catch you later.